what's up scrollers it's nerp here and we're playing the uh, last match I have to play for this tournament playing tempo order with a twist here we got effigy of the queen and we also have uh, grounds of the fallen both of these cards give magic resistance to my creatures and the reason I'm doing this I'm gonna keep this starting hand I have a good ramp up the reason I'm doing this is because Alpha Century has been steamrolling through the tournament with this growth deck that it's more late game growth and it relies on um, Quake and uh, End of Reason, the energy card that just kind of clears the board when you have a few units out there. Um, but you just know why to get the end of, reason out, end of Reason out and all that. And uh, but that does magic resistance too. That, that does magic damage as well. So this should be enough to stop that, especially having one in my starting hand. Not sure what I'm going to sacrifice here, either the Bean Potion or the Aging Knight. I think I'm going to get rid of the Aging Knight. Actually, I'm going to get rid of the Bean Potion. I'd rather flood him early on. I'm going to put this in the back. I kind of would rather just deal idle damage at the moment. So the uh, the idea is play this deck that is a pretty good counter to, I think, his, his growth deck here for the first game. Maybe knock him off this deck and then play something else after. Although I, I don't really mind too much uh, if I lose now because I am officially disqualified from winning the entire thing because I'm already 0-4 in this final round. I'll, but uh, it's only fair to the people that are doing well for me not to to still try my hardest so that everybody plays the same everybody has the same uh, strength of competition um, wouldn't be fair for me to go easier on some people I'll give an update on the score of the competition after this turn I'm gonna go ahead and play the aging eh. I'll play the skirmisher I don't love letting him hit me here, but I'm, I think I'm gonna. I am gonna move down. Now, he can't play a veteran right now. Um, I mean, I guess he could double Ragged Wolf and it would, it would suck. I think I gotta take that risk though. He could just Fertile Soil, which wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to save one damage on these guys. So the current standings here are in round one, or I guess the rounds don't matter, he's playing any order, but Valentine beat me 2-0. Uh, WBMC actually beat Valentine 2-0, and Alpha Century also beat Valentine 2-0, so uh, Valentine's a great player, um, but it's pretty shocking that he lost those games to them, although there are, everybody in this round is pretty good, uh, so I guess that makes me the worst. <laughs> uh, and WBMC beat me 2-0 also, so WBMC is currently 4-0, Alpha Century is 2-4, is two and four. and... Alpha Century is currently four, two, and only two and up because he hasn't played WMC or me yet. I think that's correct. Okay, there's a Rat King. Now I'm gonna go ahead and play the Relorus. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the this guy here. He can obviously go with a Kinfolk Veteran now, which could put either of these two things into Quake range. End of Reason is also always an option for him. Although I had a pretty perfect kind of start in terms of creatures, for some reason I don't feel too ahead right now. <laughs> a little worried here. So I'm probably Gonna need to start top decking the right cards. Probably should have had this effigy in the middle here. That way, I can use it as a wall if need be. Okay. I'd rather just get units out, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Pother. Tempting, but I think I. I think I need to just start to do more damage on the board. I I, I could take this out, this Skythorn out. I don't love doing that. I'd rather just take out his creature. And I'll also play the Exhibition Guard. Okay, he's going to be able to deal 2 damage to my Effigy of the Queen, which kind of sucks. But I can't really do much about that. Him just dealing 1 damage to it will put it in Quake range, which gets rid of that whole magic resistance thing. But at this point, I think he is pretty concerned with my line of creatures here. 
I would like to top deck maybe another one of these things. Maybe a Ground of the Fallen. Because that would give everybody magic res resistance one. A no ID end of reason would be pretty good still. Probably not this turn, but because my guys are still next to the effigy, but for the future I have to be a little weary of how I line my units up. So next turn. My Relentless guy is not attacking, so I doubt I'm going to be doing any big board clear moves. I'm probably just going to want to get more units down for him to get rid of. He goes with the Veteran. Okay, he's going to put that into Quake Range. He goes for resources, interestingly. Maybe he has a... Well, what could cost 7 that he would want to play? I'm not sure. Ragged Wolf. Okay, so he's going to take that out entirely. Now, I wish I had a... Blessing of Haste here. Grounds of the Fallen. All humans have plus one attack. That's pretty good. I think I'm going to keep that. Although everything else is also... Uh, I'm going to get rid of it, actually. I need to get units down. Okay, at this point... I think I'm going to protect my guys that are attacking. And just hope that he doesn't top deck a quake, because now a quake would hurt because this thing would be destroyed. And I'd like to top deck my other effigy, effigies of the queen as well as crown of the fallen. I don't know, I got a little attached to keeping this pother in hand because I mean there's just so much so much synergy with when you have a guy with a rel relentless out and then you have a relorous out. But there's certainly cards in his deck right now that could really be a pain for me. Um, I guess end of reason no ID right now wouldn't couldn't do that much because he has to get rid of the effigy first. But we'll see. He goes for the enchantment. That's going to be unground, I believe. Um, somewhat of removal for growth. So that's annoying for me because I'm going to need to deal idle damage soon. We have a slow start for tempo order in terms of idle damage. Unfortunately, the way I'm positioned, I cannot get this Royal Skirmisher up unless I pother this. Another Rat King. Those rats are annoying. Hard for me to bust through that. There's a Kinfolk Brave. Yikes. Okay. Um, what is the best way for me to go about doing this? If I Decimation, this will have 4 attack and I can get this row down a little bit. I don't know. Uh... I don't love the way I'm positioned. How did this happen? I had such a such a strong start. I don't know what happened here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go for scrolls. Okay, I can go with a focus now too. I don't think I need to do that though. If I decimate here, that's one, three, two. That'd be six. That could go to. I'd still need to... I am going to destroy this Skythorn, I think. Okay. So let's go ahead and go with a focus. And then that. And that doesn't kill that. I screwed up. That's bad. <laughs> That's a big blunder. A big blunder. That kills that. That I, for some reason I thought that was gonna be enough. I needed the decimation instead of just the imagerman. If I played the decimation, it would have been enough to destroy that row. That's a big blunder, though. I think I might just surrender. This second round of the tournament has been a nightmare for me. Yeah, he's able to just take things out easily now. Something about growth. Just even if you feel like you get the perfect draws, you just can't overrun them sometimes. Yeah. I don't think there's going to be much to be able to bring me back at this point. I don't have any way of getting regaining control of the middle of the board and all that. I might just surrender. Maybe for once one of these videos will not be so long that I have to speed up and get people, uh, some people, not happy with the speed. Some people are happy with the speed. Jeez. That was a pretty big blunder. Because it just... Not only did I not kill this guy, he gets to kill this. 
I can't come back against this. I have no, I have no board control methods, uh, board clear methods. Yeah. I'm gonna just wave the white flag. I don't think there's a chance of me coming back now. All right, here we go. All right, game two. When in doubt against growth, go with decay. Mono decay. Let's see if he sticks with his growth deck. I'm sure it's been doing wonders for him so far, so I assume he will. But decay is pretty fine against everything besides like structure energy. Unfortunately, going second, not good. Okay. Gonna have a pretty clear mulligan, I think. I, do, I really want to have a two drop to play. That's uh, that works. Also, a soul steal is pretty good. Against growth, I don't know if I have a chance to blight seed, but I am gonna keep it. Um, I'll get rid of the damage curse. His deck has, is like he wants to play like the four turn, the fourth turn rat king and stuff. I mean, yeah, it's great against like a great wolf or something, but I have I have unbinds as well, and I have languid in hand. So if he plays a brave now, I can either languid it or play the tribesman. Um, play the sister of the fox. I can just play the tribesman. But yeah, if he plays brave, I'd probably rather just wait for the soul seal against it. It might be pretty good to try to get a uh, blight seed off on that Illmire tribesman. Um, I think that's what I'm going to try to do. That could put me ahead. A uh, harvester is tempting to keep. Do I dare get rid of a harvester? I think I might. Because I can go tribesman, then I can blight seed, and then I can play. I'm actually going to get rid of the languid, although it's a you know a great card. I think I like the rest of my the rest of my cards more. I don't know. Languid's nice, but when, when you didn't play a turn too brave, I don't know how valuable it is. So next turn, I'm probably going to blight seed. And then chances are he's not going to have a way to kill the uh, this guy yet. Obviously that goes to the window if you just top deck to Kinfolk Brave, then I have to deal with that immediately. Okay, Skythorn. So next turn, maybe a Rat King or something. Okay, this game is going to be a little longer than the last one, I can tell you that much. Because <laughs> Mono Decay against the late game growth, it could be a could be a marathon of Harvesters and Witch Doctors and Rot Eaters versus his big units. Rattle him, I think I can get rid of pretty easily. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and Blight Seed now. Easy call. Although, Soul Stealing is tempting because then it stops him from Fertile Soiling next turn. However, he's going to Fertile Soil at some point anyways. We could screw up his turn 4 though. But, seeing the Skythorn go out, I have a feeling a Rat King is coming. Um, next turn, I will have 6 resources. And I'm going to draw a few more cards. So I can play a... Uh... Okay, I'm not going to play Soul Steal then. Uh, Witch Doctor or Halls. Hmm. I get the two perfect cards right now to top deck. Um, I think it's going to be the Halls. I just want to ramp up really far ahead of his deck. I can play the Witch Doctor, I mean. I'm going to play the play the Halls. I know it might be a little greedy. Not trying to just fill the board with the humans and Witch Doctor against growth, but... If there's ever a time to be able to play it, it's when, against growth, you literally have the only creature on the board. So it's not too threatening right now. And that creature's not even, like, kinfolk veteran Well, It's not a big deal. So next turn, I'll have five resources, and then I can play the Oblivion Seeker. Okay, there's the veteran. Okay, we're just going to let him do that. Now we're going to be able to choose a card, so I can get rid of one of these cards. Um, I'd like to keep the... I do I want to keep the damage curse in my hand right now? Mm, not really, I don't think. I'm going to... It doesn't really matter. I'm going to sacrifice this because I want to keep the rest of my the rest of my cards. So whatever I drew here, I was going to sacrifice. Because I'm going to play... Because I'm going to play the uh, Oblivion Seeker instead. So I'll play the Oblivion Seeker. I don't think he's going to go with another veteran. Next turn, I'm going to go with the... Uh, the Witch Doctor. And we're going to slowly make our way up here try to destroy the Skythorn. He goes for resources. What are we going to see? Not sure if I'll regret not taking that uh, damage curse for the second time. Okay, he goes with, he goes with the... So he knows... Oh, okay. That's smart. That was... That was good play by him. Okay, I'm going to go with the Tribesman because now I really need to fill the board. I don't think I'm going to have a chance to play another Halls. So now I'm going to go ahead and play the Harvester. 
Or I could just play three humans, I mean. That would be a lot, though. Should I just play the three humans? Hmm. I'm afraid of the uh, end of reason stuff, though. Or just play the witch doctor. Or harvester soul seal. I like the... I'm going to go the three human route. Eh, screw it. I'm going to go with the harvester soul, soul steel. I got to start getting this guy out here. So there's the harvester. So soul steel, don't go in the middle three rows. That is good enough for me. So next turn, I can go to seven resources and I can play a life stealer and a tribesman. I'm just going to have to start filling the board. That Skythorn is keeping him, it's kept him somewhat, like, still, like, how did he get to seven resources before me when I had the Blight Seed and the Halls of Omasa? <laughs> That's depressing. <laughs> Both these games, this game and last game, I feel like I had pretty much, I can't ask for much better cards, I think. But I'm still just getting overrun. Maybe growth is the best deck in this meta, even though everything feels viable. We'll see. Okay, let's go ahead and take the Blight Bearer. Okay, we need to protect this Harvester with our life now. Um, next turn I go with a Witch Doctor Tribesman, I think. This turn I go with a... I want the low cost creatures, I think. Eh, no, nah, I want to... Yeah, I want to keep those. Okay, so I'm going to play... I'm just going to hope he doesn't do any end of reason shenanigans on me. Because otherwise I'm toast anyways, I think. Yeah. If he has a god hand, he has a god hand, and I am screwed. So maybe I should have moved up. But we're going to risk it. <laughs> I'm really screwed if he has a god hand. The reason I'm positioning like that is I don't want this to guarantee this dies. And he might have a god hand. All he has to do is fly that owl away and then move up and he clears my row. And I don't know if I'm coming. I probably should have moved up so that he can't god hand and clear and kill my harvester. Or really even a second creature. That was a misplay. I kind of realized that as soon as I did that. Sorry guys, I don't know if I'm playing my best scrolls recently. And here comes the god hand. Do it. End me. Oh, no god hand. Okay. Not sure he runs god hand. Probably does. I mean, well, Lake Ingrith doesn't. Surprising. Rat King. Okay, and he draws another card from that. Those are a lot of units. With the end of reason stuff, it's almost like I just can't really play around it. And now his things are going to attack, but I kind of just have to let them attack me. Um, not much I can do. Uh, is there any way to keep this lifestealer alive? I don't think so. Um, I'm not going to put anything in this top row just in case Skythorn does something sneaky. Hmm, how do I want to do this? I think I'm going to have to sacrifice some things here. Let's move this guy here, this there. Let's play the Witch Doctor, and then let's play the... I guess I could play something in front there. Then I'll play the tribes in. And we're going to hope for the best. Let's see him maximize his attack. This is the owl's annoying in front, though. Smart pony at the front to hit my big units. I mean, right away you can kill a lot of things, but anything that he kills is going to make the harvester attack. Which probably can't avoid unless he has... Um, End of Reason now. If he does have End of Reason, does it? It would probably be enough to kill stuff, I think. So, our chance at winning this game is reliant on Witch Doctors. We're going to need to end Harvesters. We're going to need to draw more, draw more of them, put them next to each other so if he does get the big End of Reason combos off, he can only kill one of them. 
That's the goal, because it's going to be hard to really fend him off otherwise. And those structures are just going to keep giving him cards. Hard for me to deal with as well. So he goes, he ramps up a little bit more, and the Earthborn Mystic. Okay, what's he going to do here? All right, I guess that positioning works. He does that so it will not make the Harvester attack just yet. And do I have a Soul Steal or anything? I'm gonna get rid of the. I'm gonna get rid of the Darkling now. I think. As much as I'd love to play it, I think the Blight Bear is better at this point in the game. Necro getting. That's not what I want to see. That's a bad top deck right now. And now I can't really do much besides just take an onslaught of hits and hope I survive. I'm going to move down so at least the Harvester can survive things. But I'm going to take some hits right now. Um, I'm going to put the Oblivion Seeker down even though... Yeah, whatever. That's all I can really do. Shouldn't have sacrificed that Darkling. I need to play more, more humans. So a God Hand now kills everything besides the Harvester. Or no, he would. He couldn't. Actually, he can't kill the Witch Doctor because he can't get a. F actually, no, he can't because he can get the five, five attack of the veteran in the back. I think the only thing that could have saved me last turn is if I had a uh, Soul Steal or something. To make the Harvester go off and start killing some of these units. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't got him because he doesn't see that much value in it. I think it would be the move for him, though. Unfortunately, Necrogeddon is not the board clear method I'm going to want to play this game against late-game growth because of Quake. If he just quakes me after the Necrogeddon, it's game over. Maybe I should have not had my Harvester move down because now I can't hit these big structures of his. Is it God Hand time? He moved that to the back. Makes me think it might be. Wouldn't it be funny if he wasn't running any reason and I was just psyching myself out? Yeah, I think it's got hand. Okay. So that kills a lot of stuff. <laughs> Too much stuff. For everything besides the harvester. And that's not good. I stopped like another witch doctor, which is good. Um, unfortunately, I can't clear an entire row. I should probably just play the Harvester instead of the Witch Doctor, though. I need to play the other guy in tandem with something. I'm going to get rid of the Necro get in. Or should I just go for... Eh, I can't go for resources. Okay, I can go with the Witch Doctor Tribesman. I'm going to... Uh, soon, but I'm just going to... I'm just going to go with the Harvester right now. I'm going to go with Harvest because it, things are going to die right now, and I need to have my Harvester go off. So this is 7. Actually, I can't destroy it. This is 7, right? Yeah. So I'm going to do that. Gonna play a harvester. I need to get these guys in the back because these guys are going to be able to attack soon. And if he has a god hand, he has a god hand and probably wins rather rather soon. But at least let me have a fighting chance. Let's see. So next turn I can go with a witch doctor rod eater. I that's why I kinda wanted to be able to play human with it. I kind of need my tribes in front to survive this turn. Harvester out here is pretty vulnerable. So what do I want to top deck? I don't know. Darkling? I think I already have all three tribes in out, so I can't really deal with that. I... Oh, he's had the Necrogun in the back pocket, but I don't think that's a good idea. Probably going to sacrifice the Necrogun for scrolls for that reason. Okay, so he's not going for a God Hand, I don't think, because that's the way he's positioning. That would deal some awkward damage that wouldn't kill the Rod Eater. Okay, another one of those. I need to get some removal because I need to get those Harvesters to attack at some point. How did he ramp up uh, past me so easily? Okay, Blight Seed is not what I'm going to need right now. And that's a lot of attack coming down on me. 
a lot of attack. I think I might have to just sacrifice the resources here. I can't really risk. As much as I'd love to top deck like a double soul steal, I can't risk that. I need to just play two units. So that's what I'm going to do. I need to have those harvesters survive. Problem is he can take one out with a on ground or something, but I don't know what else I can do here. Wish I had a human's play there, obviously. But what else can I do? What did I sacrifice? Did I not sacrifice the Necrogodon back in? I guess, yeah, I mean, the Blight Seed is probably worse than the Necrogodon. God Hand Time? Is that game? It's, it's just if he destroyed. Yeah, I think that's the. Uh, no, it's not game. Because of the Sister of the Owl. The, the, this bottom. Idol Serp. Oh, n e Never mind. <laughs> I'm thinking it was. I guess it's not. Or no, it is. GG. <laughs> GGWP. Wow, I went 0-6 in this round. That is not the uh, scrolls I'm used to, but I got outplayed in all these games. I played bad, chose the bad decks. Even when I got good draws, I thought I still lost. But hopefully I'll, I'll come back and, and do better in the next season. Go just Click the link in the description to try to join Season 2. Um, I'll be back. I'll try to make videos on that season as well. But otherwise, thanks for watching. Congratulations to whoever wins this season. And these were some really fun matches. I hope everybody's happy to have high-level scrolls again.